Well, I think we need independent media because I, I, I don't read newspapers all that much, but when I do, I'm disenchanted. Um, it was some years ago, I guess, when I started doing cases that the media were interested in. And naturally, being an eager young barrister, I'd look for the report and I'd read it and think, oh, is that the case I was in? I couldn't believe how completely unconnected to reality the mainstream media reporting was of things about which I knew. And it made me think that perhaps I couldn't rely on it on other subjects, things I didn't know about. The um, media in Australia, the mainstream media, is obviously very tightly held. Uh, there's basically only two viewpoints, uh, and most people only listen to one of them. And that really annoys me in the area in which I am particularly interested, which is the treatment of asylum seekers. 70% um, of the public think that asylum seekers are illegal, and 70% of the public get their news from Murdoch Press. Now, that's an interesting coincidence of numbers, but they may not be the same cohort precisely, but I think they may be. Now, that's why we need independent voices, because with independent voices, people can actually learn you know, facts and things, which would be quite good. Um, the more independent media we have, the more likely it is that Australians generally will understand what actually is going on and will be able to form views that reflect reality.